What's going on guys? My name is Star Lord and I'm here to show you guys what Zer has for sale this week. Alright, so he's gonna be here from March 20th to the 22nd. Let's check this guy out. Alright, so he's got the Mark 44 stand asides. Decent stat roll. This is definitely something you're gonna want to pick up if you like using shoulder charge. It remains active for a few more seconds than normal and you get an extra little bit of heavy ammo. Although I think the ruined wings are definitely a better way to go. We've got the Mask of the Third Man. Gives you a stat roll of 100, 100 intellect, which is not too bad. This is definitely something you're going to want to pick up if you like running Blade Dancer. Replenish health every time you pick up an Orb of Light. We've got Switchblade, Increase Melee Attack Distance, and Unstable Current. Attack Blade uses less super energy. Definitely something you're going to want to pick up, although the upgrade gives you four more intellect. Not much of a difference, but I, if you decide to go that way, definitely grab it. So here we have Apotheosis Veil. This is something that I have not been able to get, although I just bought it. So we've got Serpent's Tail, causing, melee, causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. Infusion, same perk as before. Replenishes health of each time you pick up an orb of light, and private reserves immediately regenerate health on activating your super. So this is great for the Crota fight as well. We've got the hard light auto rifle. Now this auto rifle is decent. It's not great. We've got the glass half full perk. The bottom half of the magazine causes additional damage. We've got quick draw, fitted stock, and field scout, which definitely want to max out that stability if this is something that you decide to pick up and volatile light rounds fired from this weapon over penetrate targets and ricochet on hard surfaces that is a cool perk to have although this gun itself isn't really the best choice if you do decide to go for it if you're a collector go for it if not you might not have a good time with the gun but pick it up just try it out why not we've got the mask of the third man upgrade We've got the Lucky Raspberry upgrade with 140 intellect. Definitely grab this. If you guys need to upgrade your Lucky Raspberry and you haven't done so yet, do it this week. With 140 intellect, I'm pretty sure that's either capped or close to cap. We've got an insurmountable skull for it. The Crest of Alpha Luffy we buy for Titans. We've got the Skull of Dairahamkara. We've got the Heart of Praxic Fire. We've got the Hard Light. We've got the Red Death. The Invective Shotgun, Patience in Time, Yellerhorn, and the Truth, which I already have an upgraded Truth, and it's almost finished, although I could upgrade it again right here if I want. We got Pulse Rifle Telemetry, Scout Rifle Telemetry, Machine Gun Telemetry, Plasma Drive Vehicle Upgrade, the Emerald Coil Vehicle Upgrade, and Heavy Ammo Synthesis. Alright guys, that's Zero this week. My name is Star-Lord.